We're going to look at these 12 functions and classify each one as a power function, a root function, a polynomial, in which case we'll state its degree, a rational function, algebraic function, trigonometric function, exponential function, or logarithmic function. These are important classes of functions which we should be comfortable working with and certainly comfortable identifying. So let's begin, we'll look at each function and see if we can classify it correctly. Beginning with number one, f of x equals the fifth root of x. This is most simply recognized as a root function. It's the fifth root of x. Though we could also view it as a power function. It's x to the power of one over five. And a lot of these types of functions do have some overlap. For example, every polynomial is an algebraic function. And we'll see some examples as we go through this. Number two, g of x equals log base three of x. This is, of course, a logarithm function. It's the logarithm with base three. For example, if we plugged nine into this function, that would give us two. Log base three of nine is two because three to the power of two is nine. Number three, h of x equals x squared minus three x cubed. This is a polynomial. In a polynomial, every variable must have a non-negative integer power, which we see is the case here, 2 and 3. The highest power is the degree of the polynomial. So this is a polynomial, and its degree is 3. That's the highest power of a variable in this polynomial. Number 4, j of x equals x cubed. This is technically a polynomial of degree 3, but we could also say that it is a power function. It has a single term, x, with some power. Power functions can also have coefficients. There could be a 4 here or 5. In this case, the coefficient is just 1. Regardless, it is a power function. It also happens to be a polynomial and an algebraic function as well. It's worth recalling that not every power function would be a polynomial. If this power was a non-zero number less than one, that would not be a polynomial. For example, x to the negative three, that's a power function, but it's not a polynomial. Number five, f of x equals sine of x plus cosine of x. These are our beloved trigonometric functions. Sine and cosine are trig functions. If you add them together, you're still talking about a trigonometric function. Number six, v of t equals e to the t. e, you should recall, is just a number. It's an irrational number, but a number nonetheless. So in this case, we have a number to a variable power. That is an exponential function. Don't confuse it with the polynomial. In this case, the variable is in the exponent, so it's an exponential function. This one's often called the exponential function, specifically because it's that number e raised to the power of t. Number seven, getting some weird names now, w of a equals a divided by one minus a. a is a polynomial. 1 minus a is also a polynomial. Since this, then, is a ratio of polynomials, it's called a rational function. It's also an algebraic function, but more specifically, it is a rational function. Number 8, y equals 4x cubed divided by 1 minus x squared is, again, a rational function because it's a polynomial divided by a polynomial. Again, it also happens to be an algebraic function, but that is a broader class, so I'm going to use the more specific classification of rational function. Number nine, f of x equals the square root of x to the four plus two divided by one plus x. This is not a ratio of polynomials because the numerator is not a polynomial. We can't have variables stuck in square roots in polynomials. So this is not a rational function because it's not a ratio of polynomials. This is just an algebraic function. It's a function that can be constructed using addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, and square roots. That's an algebraic function. Then number 10, y equals x plus 2x to the 4 times negative x cubed plus 5x. If we were to do out all of this multiplication, it would be very clear that what we have is a polynomial. In the end, we would just have a sum of terms consisting of variables with non-negative integer powers. So this is a polynomial. And it would be 2x to the 4 times negative x cubed that gives us our highest degree term. 
So the degree of this polynomial, well, if we did that multiplication, we'd have negative 2x to the 7. So that's the degree of the polynomial. It's a polynomial of degree 7. Then number 11, g of x equals the natural log of 4x. This is again a logarithmic function, but this is what we call the natural log, which has a base of that nice number e. Finally, number 12, k of v equals pi to the v. This is just like number 6. We have an irrational number raised to the power of a variable. Since there's a variable in the exponent, this is an exponential function. So those are some examples of a bunch of important classes of functions. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Audio.